I help improve someone who has autism's lives. In this video, we're going to be talking about a few ways that I can. So, I'm Craig Khan. I've got it going on, and this is Team Autismpedia. We're dedicated to educating you about autism so that you can look at improving someone who has autism's life. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you can see our, our all of our, our, our newest videos and, and just be able to find us easily. Five different ways that uh, w doing volunteer work can really help someone with autism look at and getting better and improving their lives. So the first way is that when they uh, when they go out and do a volunteer job, that that actually gets them out and doing something, and that and also socializing, which is something you need to improve at socializing. So. It uh, gives them an opportunity to go out there, get in the social uh, situations, and work on those skills, and which will lead to improvement, likely. So that's the first step. If you're out there and working on social skills, you're likely doing it with other people, and those new people can become your friends and that, and help you expand your uh, uh, how many people you know and who you can hang out with. Um, a lot of people with autism, like I've mentioned in other videos, may not have so many friends in that. So if you look at, uh, they, they go out there and they're connecting with people, especially people who have the same interests and uh, they have, then they can also do this. I actually vo volunteered at my uh, synagogue or place of worship, uh, and I, that has helped me meet a number of new people around there, especially when I was new. That helped me get to know people and make sure that people knew who I was, that I was a kind person, as you may see from the videos. So, yeah, it will help you meet people and good people, because who gives back to other people? People who are kind and caring. Those are the kind of people that you or you want someone I'm hanging out with. Third way that volunteering really helps someone with autism is that it gives them the opportunity to build skills. How many times have you seen a... Uh, a job description saying we want um, two years of experience how are you ever going to get two years of experience you have to start somewhere and that somewhere is a volunteer position when you volunteer with, with an organization and you work on a skill and you think ahead wh what kind of job would I eventually like to get that will make it so that you can get that uh, kind of experience necessary to get that job you want and that will put you ahead and this doesn't have to start only in college. This can start in high school or even younger. You just need to know what do you want it, what does the person want to do, and how how can this volunteer opportunity help them get there? Uh, and volunteering can help with what's actually mentioned in the last tip, which is helping you get a job. This can help you look at um, getting the skills necessary for a job. This can also help you get your foot in the door. How many times uh, would uh, looking at Helping with, how many times can, would you think a company looks at hiring from within? Someone they already know, someone that they know has the ability to do that. You're more likely to get hired with that. Also, I've heard a number of people, big businessmen, who have said, why don't you work for one of the best people for free and then learn all their secrets? If you know all that someone else has, then you're sure to be able to do what they they do and do that well. So you can get a job and people will just know, hey, this person volunteers with this place. He likes this type of work. And people will think of that and they'll look and say, hey, you know what? We have an opening here with this type of work that's similar to that, that actually pays. And you can get paid for doing the things that you love, which is the dream of everyone. So just know that you, it's, it's volunteering in, in the short term may not be paying you, but eventually it could lead to something that pays. The, the last thing that uh, volunteering does for a person who has autism is that it gives them self-esteem. When you have learned social skills and you have people who like you and care about you, you know, that makes you feel good. When you've learned skills and you've shown that you can do things and that, that gives you self-esteem. You're like, I can do this, I can do that. What else can I do? And this and that. that. That builds you up and that makes it so that you can do so much more. So you have to just know that volunteering, even if you, it doesn't lead to a job right away, it can lead you to feeling 
even better about things than that. So I, I hope this will lead you to, if you know someone who has autism who doesn't have many opportunities, encourage them. Volunteer. Thanks for watching the video. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. And, and we have other videos that you can see here. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And also, uh, leave a comment, if you, uh, especially if you've had a volunteer experience before. T tell me about it and w what happened with it. And any other questions you have that you want us to eventually in, in, in take. Um, we're, we're working with uh, experts, hopefully soon. We'll be posting videos of some of the best people some best people in the industry, uh, you know, people with autism, and helping educate you about autism, because that's what Team Autism Key is all about.